Hello, everyone out there in Kansas. My name is Kyle, and I actually live way over in California. But for the past 17 years, I've been going all around the uh, nation, actually, and teaching kids how to draw. I've done so many libraries out there in Kansas before, so perhaps you've seen me one. I know Tammy, our coordinator here today, has. Uh, I wanted to run through just a little slideshow, and then I'm going to actually show you how the program works. Uh, the slideshow is very, very simple, and it is uh, just going to give you a good idea. All right, everyone. As I was saying a moment ago, my name's Kyle, and I'm going to run through just a real quick slideshow so they get an idea of who I am and what I do for libraries, and then I'm going to actually show you how the program will work. So first of all, here is me uh, being chased by a snowman. That's just a little intro slide that I wanted everyone to see. But next up, uh, as I mentioned, my name's Kyle. I started teaching kids how to draw in 2004. And each school year, I do about 100 to 150 elementary schools a year. And over summer, I help uh, all sorts of numbers of libraries to do the summer reading programs that no doubt all of you do. I also work with libraries throughout the school year. Um, I've been doing a lot recently. At the time of this filming, it's December. So I've been working with some here in California uh, for like a holiday show on their Facebook Live. Um, as I mentioned, uh, some of you may have seen, oh, over on this screen, some of you may have seen uh, me at another library. These are some of the clients that I've worked with, and I'd love to add your library to that. When I work in schools, uh, I usually work with groups of up to 300 kids at a time. So when we have a chance to do a library live and in person, uh, it's very, very easy because we can fit everyone so easily in between all the stacks with the books or if you have a nice little auditorium, I think this one was somewhere in Emporia uh, in the upper right of that slide. Uh, but what I'm doing for libraries now that we've switched over to Zoom and to Facebook Live and to the whole virtual world is you still get me completely live. Uh, but we do the program virtually, so all your par uh, participants can follow along on their own laptop or their own tablet, wherever they're at. And if we ever get back in person, I'm sure that there's ways that we're going to be able to project it into your uh, library there. But the program that I offer is about 50 minutes long. It is for children and families. Uh, I've had a lot of people in the past present it as a teen program, and it is not a teen program. All the drawings that I do are definitely designed more for the kindergarten through sixth grade. So that's about ages 5 to 12, but everyone's able to do it. Uh, last but not least, when you schedule my program, I am going to try and make it as easy as humanly possible for you. Uh, usually when I come in person, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of uh, flyers that you can head out, hand out ahead of time, book stuffers that you can put in uh, as kids check out books and leaks weeding up. For Zoom or Facebook Live or anything else virtual, I'm going to give you some social media stuff that you can post on Facebook ahead of time so that everyone knows what's going on at the library. Uh, I usually give out a kid's drawing paper, which if you look down here, there's the blast off in the drawing and the dream and draw a better world. Uh, those are little eight and a half by 14 sheets of paper that they can fold in a half. And then we actually make a book during the program uh, with the three drawings that we do. I'm going to give that to you so that you can distribute it virtually uh, using like a Facebook download thing on your library's webpage. So any kids who want to print it off and follow along, they can. And of course, I'm still going to go over all my favorite books, and we're going to talk a lot about the Caldecott winners, because I love to encourage the kids to look at different types of artwork other than just the artwork that I do. So last but not least, I know that Tammy is going to include all this information, but my name's Kyle Tiernan. Here's my phone number and all that. If you want to pause the video later on, you can. So if I stop screen sharing, now you should be all back here on me, and I'm going to just give you a little idea of how it would work. I'm able to switch not only between my uh, webcam up here, but also between a camera that's right in front of me that copies, or I guess lets you see what it is that I'm drawing. So if you've ever drawn a picture with me before, you know that I always draw with basic shapes that we can fill up with color. One of the jokes that I tell kids is parents a lot of the time, and adults, and maybe even a couple of the librarians out there, when you guys draw, or when some people draw, they draw with sticks and they get things called stick figures. But when we draw, we never want sticks. You and I always want to have shapes when we draw. So really quickly, before I do a, I'm going to try to do a two minute demo here. Uh, but before we do that, we start with shapes and we work from there. Um, this penguin is a very, very fun one. It's made out of a nice, easy half circle. We start off with a blank sheet of paper and all the kids end up with their own drawing at the end of the day that's similar to this one. And by the way, when I'm teaching these, I'm not just saying draw a line, draw a line, draw another line, make a shape. That's really boring. 
everything that I do is always connected by a story. So when we're talking about drawing this penguin, there's a whole story about his birthday that helps to create the picture. So that was a penguin one. What do we have here? This is another one that is a lot of fun. It's an owl. It starts off with a nice pentagon right in there. We got a chocolate chip cookie out in the back back there. Here is a chameleon. Now the chameleon is a very fun one. This is an awesome drawing lesson to do because I always tell kids before we start, I say, I want you to think of your favorite African animal. And most of the kids, they always think of, you know, elephants, lions, uh, giraffes, things like that. But it turns out that chameleons are from Africa. And I actually learned that from a Ranger Rick magazine in a library down in Lysine, Kansas, okay? So I love to add in all these little animal facts as we're going. So to give you an idea of how it might work, one thing that I've been doing recently, since it is December, is I've been doing for libraries some uh, holiday pictures. And one thing that a lot of people do when they want to draw a holiday picture is they start off with the easiest thing in the world, a snowman just like this. But when most people draw a snowman, they draw it so that they're just connecting right at the edges. What we want to do when we're drawing is we want to make sure that we're using overlaps. Now, overlaps help to create the three-dimensionality in a picture that lets us look like we can reach in, pick something up, and hold it in our hand. So the other thing that we're gonna do is if you wanna follow along for about two minutes here, we have about two minutes, I will start off the snowman and you'll get an idea of how this program will work, okay? So after going over those three little circles, the next thing that we would do is I would just encourage the kids to grab whatever it is they're gonna draw with. So I like to draw with crayon, they can draw with pen, they can draw with marker, whatever it is they have. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off right over this way and we're gonna start with his head. Now, I want you to notice that his head is going to be bigger than a usual snowman head. Usually, a snowman has a little head, a medium body, and a big bottom. But when we're drawing, we can change up those three shape sizes to get some really cool results. So I'm going to give mine a big head, and maybe I'm going to tuck right underneath it a nice little, uh, what do we have here? A little midsection, okay? So we have a medium we have a little, and then we'll finish it up down here at the bottom with a big one, right? So he has a big old booty back behind him. Now, this is how the drawing would start. And to give you an idea of what it would look like when we're all done, if I can find it, oh no, where is he? He is right in here, okay? So we move from this step by step, and we're gonna end up with a picture similar to this. Now, as I mentioned before, this program is for kids, okay? It's for kids and families. It's not a teen program. The drawings are all very, very simple and they're definitely ones that your kids are gonna be able to do. So I wanna thank you all very much for going along here. If you wanna ask me any questions, feel free to email me with the information that uh, the Seckles and Neckles library systems and all of them are gonna be sending out uh, or ask another fellow librarian if they've ever seen me before about how it works. It works fantastic virtually. We can set it up right through Facebook Live onto your uh, library or branches webpage and we'll have a blast. So Tammy, I wanna send it right back to you if I can. And hopefully that was a good 